Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on Valley Springs. We just need to uh, adjust the time guys, we are now in November. Uh, if you're wondering why we're now in November in this episode, I moved the bales from the fields that we already did yesterday. Um, I left it on, I think it was two actually, and it took me that long to move them all. Um, wow, it's... <laughs> it's raining. We're going we're going to be bailing in the rain, which I know is kind of frowned upon in this game. It's no good. I can't. I still can't really see. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, we've got this field to bail. This is the last one we uh, we have to bail. Right. Um. Obviously, there's not really had chance for anyone to comment on uh, the production series just yet, just because I'm I'm recording a little bit earlier today. Uh, my eldest lad's college bus showed up early. Uh, the wife went to uh, drop my daughter off at college early. My youngest went to school early. So yeah, it, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm recording a little bit early. Only by like 15 minutes, but it's amazing what 15 minutes uh, it does. You know, the video today's video has technically only been live 28 minutes. You know what I mean? It's not been live for long. But yeah, we're gonna. We're going to do something along the lines of that production. There was something I wanted to check first, and I wanted to do it on recording. Um, the spinnery area. Oh, we can actually buy the spinnery area for zero. It doesn't include the spinnery, though. Just the land. So yeah, we might look at... Um, we might look at getting that very soon. We, we do have some... i tell you what, actually. And I know I'm... I know this is mental. I'm kind of just procrastinating a little bit. But I've got two choices. We can either buy the bit of fat... Oh, that farmland is in there for zero as well. Right, well, we're going to buy that. Because I'm... Um, have a look. What space have we got up here? So this is the spinnery. Right, I don't think I can sell that until I... Uh, until I own the land. Let, let's buy the land and see what happens. Let's buy the land. And can I now sell this? This would be really good if I could sell this. I can now sell that for £4,000. Fantastic. Right, we want the stone building to try and keep in... Keeping with the... Uh, the area, shall we say. So this does grapes, tomatoes and lettuce. Right, well, we will obviously do the the latest production. I, did you know what I don't like about this? I don't like how the delivery is around the back. I wonder if we can pull that forward a little bit like that. And I wonder if there's something we can do decoration-wise. What do you reckon? We could do something like that. We're supposed to be able to... Press the wrong button now and come out of it. We're supposed to be able to do something there. Right, let me just get a fence. So that little wall's not working very well. Um yeah, we just want to try and get some that just to separate. No, it's not gonna have it, is it? Right, so it won't let me put anything there. Even though I've got Place Anywhere mod installed, it won't let me... Uh... Yeah, it, it, won't, it won't let me place it. So, yeah. Unfortunately, we, we're going to try and uh, not drive through there. But there we go. We actually have a little production for the little tomato sauce. Um, that's kind of what I wanted. It just gets them tomatoes up and running. And I think... I've just realised why I'm not tabbing to that vehicle. I can't tab to that vehicle. It doesn't let me. Yeah. With all the... Uh, with obviously moving over to a new day, um, it means I I do have a pallet of tomatoes. I think it's tomatoes. Or is it... I've got something to sell anyway. I can't remember quite what it was. Um, if it's not tomatoes, though, we will just leave it. No, they're strawberries, aren't they? 
Right, well, we'll leave that for now. We will leave that for now. Yeah. But yeah, the production's in. I was going to wait until we, we were fully had a pallet, but to be honest, I thought the pallet that would be ready was going to be tomatoes. And obviously it's not. But, you know, at the end of the day, that's fine. I think we're going to start growing more than one thing in our greenhouse as well. I just want to get a few... I just want to get some uh, tomatoes first so we can get that production up and running. But I think production-wise, we, we've made a start. We've got something. I know it's not quite what everyone was expecting with, like... It's all right. I'm just trying to get that last 100%. There we go. But we have something. It, it's, it's something. Um... Right, so that's not on. There we go. Let's get that up and running. Yeah, we don't have over much to do in November. Um, we've got £35,000 obviously left after buying that building. That is fine. I think 35000 will be enough to see us through the winter months, to be honest. Um, that bale is rolling down the street. But yeah, you should see the amount of bales we've got now. The amount of hay bales. Well, you can see the top of the hay bales. They're in rows of three. Um, uh, three high, sorry. And yeah, we've, we've got quite a lot of them. Um, but it, it does mean we don't have enough money to buy the spinnery yet. And we do almost have a pallet of spinnery. Um, we need to have about 30 sheep to keep the spinnery kind of ticking over. Um... The thing you've got to remember is our our wool pallets are five times more than a normal pallet. Do you know what I mean? So if you think to yourself, oh, well, you should have one at a thousand litres. Well, ours only spawn every thousand litres. We can take them whenever the, the, they, they appear. But obviously, from the point of view that we need to... Uh, You know, we need to keep the spinnery ticking over. We, I, you know, someone was like, "Yeah, you need to have really thirty sheep." People are like, "Yeah, but you, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in no man's land at the moment." Everyone's kind of pointed it out in the comments, They're like, "Yeah, but you don't have enough sheep. You don't have enough cows. You cow, you know, meat cows, and your other cows are not quite old enough." The meat cows are always ticking over. It doesn't matter if we've got ten of them or a hundred of them. They're always ticking over. We do have a few adults to bring in a few babies for free. You know, as soon as they get to double the money, we buy more and things like that. So we are slowly ticking over. I know it's not exactly after a fine, you know, like a, a farming year. It's not exactly where I want it to be. We're a little bit behind. But that was my fault for buying so many baby dairy cows. And I should have bought some adults. That's where it went a little bit. But I've kind of enjoyed bringing them up from calves. To maybe making them a breeding age that'll kind of just tick over nicely yeah i don't want to make loads of tomatoes using like um using the greenhouse like when i say i don't want to make loads i mean like i don't want to use the fertilizer and the seed and make like maximum amount if that makes sense i want to try and uh keep that just ticking over nicely i don't want to make anything stupidly unrealistic like buying that building was ten thousand pounds you could argue that ten thousand pounds a little bit cheap for that building let me know what you think we can always take maybe an extra five thousand out it is only you know it does only do us to well it does us more than uh like tomato like a tomato sauce in it for food you know what i mean i don't want to say like it's ketchup tomato sauce but I just think, yeah, maybe we could maybe get rid of an extra five grand. Maybe the building cost us 15 grand. Um, I have paid the loan payment as well. Um, I did notice last month, guys, I did forget to pay a loan payment. I was looking on the balance sheet and I did notice that there was two loan interest payments, the same amount. That usually means we've, we've missed, a, we missed a payment. So I have paid a loan payment. Um, I actually paid two loan payments as well, which is why we went down to £35,000. Well, we went down ten grand in the loan payments, and then obviously we did the, uh, the building. So we have technically got rid of 20 grand. You know, the loan's coming down nicely now. 
just want to get rid of this little bit of grass because I seem to have missed that. And that might just be enough grass. No, it wasn't enough to fill that. It's fine. That is fine. I want to get this little bit of hay up at the top. Yeah, I don't want to really time lapse this, guys, because we don't really have much else to do on our farm over the next month or so. Um, we've got some liming. We've got some fertilising. That's about it. But we are going to have to do that in November, which means December is going to be a bit of a quiet month. So we're probably going to get to the stage where we skip a couple of months as well. Um, obviously, we've got the greenhouse to keep on top of, so we'll top that with water. Probably top the water up the animals. Um, yeah, I don't think the chickens need any water. That's just on feed. But yeah, overall, I think where we're going to be after winter, I think we're going to be in a really good spot. I really do. It's just a case of uh, manually doing this field. Now, like I say, I'm not going to put it in a time lapse because other than fertilising and lime, we don't really have anything else to do before Christmas, basically. And... I don't see the point in skipping too much time with this bailing job because like I say there's just apart from liming and fertilizing our winter work is done also another reason why I'm driving to the top of this hill and not working on my way down that pail is slowly rolling down the hill that's fine okay, we've got a nice little pot of uh, honey over there so that can be sold soon yeah, we need to bring in the Raging Reapers uh, Farmer's Market. Or oh, the Raging Reapers Buy Anywhere mod. Now, if anyone's interested in the Raging Reapers uh, Buy Anywhere mod, we buy everything mod, I'm more than happy to give you it by Discord. It is not for console, as I've said before, and that on live stream, Giants are refusing, point blank refusing to uh, release it, even though there's nothing wrong with it. They've tested it and said it's passed. They just won't, like, no, we're not. There's too many mods like that, but the problem is... This is a smaller footprint than the Raging Reapers Farmer's Market. So you can put it on a, a smaller map like this one, for example. Which is why I made it. Well, that and the fact that, you know, I don't want to use the same mod. And I don't want to use the We uh, Sell Everything mod. You know, the little container mod. I just think that just looks completely unrealistic, to be honest. Why would I sell like a million pounds worth of say, supplies to a shipping container? At least... I have a building. But yeah, if anybody wants it, join the Discord and just ask. I'm more than happy to uh, put a link in. is uh, almost done. I think this is going to be the last full bale, so we do need to look at trying to reduce the capacity now of said bales. There we go. 150. This might, if we get a bale, it'll wrap a bale, but it's not the end of the world. We can wrap here. It's not the end of the world. We've got quite a little bit of uh, loose grass as well. Well, that did take a little bit longer than initially planned. Come on. Now what have we got here this field? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six bales off this field. That is not too bad at all. too bad at all like I say we've always made the next bale smaller because that way we can just uh, continue with silage if needs be yeah looking really good now but that's that's the hay supply like I say there's another six bales there it's, that's a huge amount of hay for the winter so yeah we've got plenty for the sheep we've got plenty for technically both sets of cows if we need it Let's get that over there. Right, it does also mean we own the... Uh, I don't feel right owning that land for free. 
I really don't. If we maybe leave the production at ten grand, we could maybe um, pay ten grand for the land because we own a lot of extra land we can put buildings now. That's the thing. Yeah, if you look down here, guys, look at this lot. Look at this lot. Absolutely amazing. I mean, we only had one and a bit rows. Now, we've got all them. I think this means we come out with about... Um, nearly 30 bales. Nearly 30 hay bales. Bear in mind the 7,500 litres of bale. It's a lot of bales. You know what I mean? Which is good for us. Like I say, we can see out the winter. But we just need to uh, clear these bales now. And then... Hopefully we can get limed and fertilised in this episode. That That's the goal anyway. We want to get limed. We want to get fertilised. We need to really. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if it's going to be best you watching me struggle to do this. Because like I say, I'm still not the best at this. But... I found doing I found doing bales one at a time a lot easier. Um, and I don't know if you remember, Jura, but do you remember when I fed the cows a hay bale the other week and I was like, I thought we had a small bale. That bale that's just laid down the opposite way, that was the small bale I was looking for. And I, yeah, I should have used it to feed the uh, dairy cows instead of using a big one. It, it, I suppose at the end of the day, doesn't really matter but just for me it's just kind of yeah I should have grabbed that bale at the, at the bottom a bit more I might have to drop this bale it might be a little bit too high yeah it's gonna be too high to put that in there right so what I need to do I just need to drop this bale I need to pick it up more lower down like that there we go that's what I've found anyway. I need to tilt it like that and put it as high as possible. Now that little bale might be in my way. There we go. Like I say, I'm getting better with this. I know you guys will be la probably sat there laughing. Wow, your front loading skills suck. Hey, I'm better than I used to be. I actually don't mind front loading work now. The only downside is it, I'm not the quickest at it. But as you can see, I've done a couple of bales. I might use the odd super strength if I accidentally knock them all over, but... I haven't knocked... Uh, no, sorry, I, no, I ain't gonna lie. I don't need to lie. I I had to use super strength once yesterday to... Uh, just because I put one on the top like that, and then as I pulled it off, it just dragged it off. But other than that, and it made it land the other side you know like the other way you know like that's how that's when i need super strength just when something just didn't quite go right like that but other than that oh my god i use super strength and it still didn't go right There we go. Actually, no, summer. The uh, <laughs> the beacon is actually putting me off there. Yeah. Um. Do you know, summer? It's like the pressure. It's like, nope. I'm recording. I'm going to show you how good I am with my front loading skills, and then my front loading skills just completely go out of the window doing it. Wow. Yeah, I literally, that is the most I've used super strength on bales in, in weeks. Even on the old stream farm map, you'll see in the next episode, I moved all the, you know, the hay bales off recording. I even did that with the skid steer, and I only used super strength, I think, twice on that one. And that's only, and I only used super strength one of the times, because the bale wouldn't come off the forks for some reason. Um, which I thought was very odd. I've never really had that. It was like it was glued on. Yeah, as you can see, this is all here. Yeah, we're going to get fertilised, we're going to get limed. I can probably fertilise and lime now, actually, because they're not in the field. They're on the little path now, so that that's just what I was trying to do, is just trying to clear the uh, trying to clear the road. Or the field, sorry.
time, yeah. As you can see, not too shabby. When it goes well, it goes really well, and I'm really impressed with it. Like I say, it, it's not going to be the most busiest episode of all today. It's just a bit of casual yard work. It's Apart from contracts, we've got nothing else to do other than lime and fertilise, so... And I, I, I actually want to get on with that now, so I can actually get it done in this episode. I'm going to leave that there. Uh, we might as well use this one. Oh, what's in the shop? Nothing, and that IT runner has now left the shop. I knew it would do. I never did make my mind up with it. The problem is it's one of them things where it... That IT runner is going to be perfect when the farm gets to a certain size. The downside was we're just not at that size yet. Right, that's not good. I don't think that's going to be enough. I don't think that's going to be enough. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do with the cow area as well because that grass is going to need planting. It's going to need ploughing up and things like that. I don't think this is the right time to do it. We can't plant grass in winter. Um, so that's going to be a spring job. So we'll probably cut that cow field again before we... Uh, before we uh, plough it up. I was hoping to plough it up this year, but it's just... It's not quite gone to plan. Oh, I forget about these gates. I closed all the gates yesterday. And I forget how annoying the gates are. Yeah, if we get them all fertilised first, if we can... Uh, fertilise all the fields and then uh, get them all lined. If we get this into a little mini time lapse, we can get it all done in this episode. And then worst case scenario, I've just got a couple of... Uh, couple of bills to move if we if we've got time to move them on the recording yeah i'm gonna crack on with these two little jobs fertilized all in this episode apart from moving a couple of bales oh wrong button um we just gotta go sell some strawberries yeah it's november the best price for strawberries is january i don't want to keep them though i did say we didn't want to be keeping them. i don't know if anyone noticed how i pulled into here i was uh nearly a thousand liters of eggs wow nearly a thousand liters of like i say 
I don't really want to take the uh, pallets until they're full. Um, that's the good thing with the um, the larger capacity things. Instead of moving the bill, uh, instead of moving the pallets every time there's a thousand liters, it's literally five times the amount, and I, I really do like that. I think it's a fantastic way of uh, of doing it. I know technically you you can argue, oh yeah, but replay, it's like keeping five lots of. I don't know, say, for example, strawberries that, that have gone off in real life. Yeah, but you 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 got to break you got to break up the work somehow. Um, you just got to break it up a little bit. But if we can get rid of that pallet of strawberries we got, which is about two and a half thousand liters, um, for me that's a good start. I've done it again. It's because I can't tab to my car, but I didn't want to keep tabbing to my car because it's not often we use it. Uh, we've got a thousand litres of tomatoes already. I think if we open that and we take this, um, it's going to be, it's, I know fine well it's going to be the buy anyway mod. Right, I've got a question for you guys. Do you want me to bring in a, diff a new sell point so that we're not always having to go to the same, kind of the same one? Like I say, I can bring in one of the Raging Reaper mods. It's not a problem. 252 that is actually the highest 252 um oh it's right up wow this is even further away than the uh other one interesting but yeah basically i can spawn a building in i can put it into the map do you know what i mean um, it's not the end of the world to just add a building in, maybe where the garage is. I know it does mean there'll be a cell point closer to us, but it's not guaranteed to be the cell point. You know what I mean? I'm trying. I'm just trying to. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just trying to bring in more cell points in different locations of the map because all the cell points are a long way away. I don't know if you noticed as well, guys, the, uh, the my logo on the back. Look, opens with the door now. <laughs> Managed to uh, saw that one. Like I say, it's a little bit cheesy having your little logo on your car, but... Hey, if I ran a business, it would have my bloody company logo on, do you know what I mean? I do love how fast this car can go. I almost want to bring in the speed camera mod. And just put some speed camera dotted around the map. I lost control there. But yeah, I didn't put any monster wheels on it or anything like this on this truck. I'd, that's more for if we play on an American map. It kind of suits them maps more. But I don't tend to play on American maps because I don't... I get America's a bigger country, but I can't stand the maps where they're just... oh. Here's a, here's a four times map and it's got two fields on it. They're just huge. I don't like fields like that. I just You spend too much time on one and if you're making videos, I feel like you time lapse too much of one job and things like that. Right. I do have an issue with um, emptying this load as well though, guys. Don't forget. and it, it, it doesn't unload in here. Look, if I press I now, it spawns it all the way over there. Now, I've had a look in the config and stuff, and I just can't find anywhere for spawn radius for unloading. It might be in the XML, and I've missed it. I don't know. I'll leave that on there to sell. It'll get us a little bit of money, about a thousand, a couple of grand maybe. I don't know. Whatever it gets us, it gets us. Six wow, I expected a couple of thousand pound. Oh, yeah, duh, no. We're playing on hard economy, are we? Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, all I've got to do today is move another couple of bales. Uh, it's not the end. It's not the end, obviously. We've got loads more to do. I don't think there's going to be much we can do in, uh, in uh, December. I think if we go over to December, I think the most we're going to have to do is move some tomatoes to the production. But that would be quite nice. So maybe in the next episode, we might start in December. I know we've only just been in November. Not long, but... 
I don't know. It, the times the times flying on five. Maybe we can stay in December and put it on times ten. I, I, or we can just take the tomatoes to the production and leave it at that. I, I, I'm not really sure. Um, but evening is coming already. There wasn't much daylight because of the um, really van. Yeah, there wasn't much day daylight because of the uh, rain in the morning, so we did lose a few hours of working time. But I've got nothing else right now to do over the move a couple of bills. So yeah, I think I think the next episode will be straight into December. There's no point. We can treat, you know, we can treat this. Ah, God, this. The, this, the traffic splines on this map proper suck. Like I say, I have not got much to dislike about this map, but the traffic on this map is horrendous. Yeah, I say other than that, we haven't really got anything else we can uh, we can be getting on with. It's been a good episode, though. I do love a. I do love a farmyardy episode. I really, really do. It's uh, one of them things. Farmers do it in real life. Right. So what have we got sheep? Right. Sheep-wise, guys, we've got 25 sheep. We've got 25 sheep. Everyone's like, you need at least 30. Well, we're at 25. I don't think we're doing too bad. Just got to get that production up. That, that's the issue. Why is the production so low? We got plenty of water. We got plenty of food. Two and a half thousand liters of wool. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Reproduction's fifty percent there. They're taking a while. And we've got the little calves. Three, four, five. I've genuinely thought about buying or renting a animal truck and selling these. I would sell them through the menu, but the problem is at £345, we'd actually lose money on them. But if we rent a truck, we could maybe, or even just buy a cheap truck, and we could maybe bring use that money bringing some adults of these. What have we got on here? 2,900 litres. Yeah, puberty. Yeah, they're just not quite four months. That's going to be spring. So I reckon we're going to start producing milk soon. Looking for my other tractor. Um, I think winter's going to be another milkless winter. But remember, once them, once them cows start producing milk, they'll all be ready and producing milk at the same time. And then we just need to look at getting a TMR mixer. Now, I am going to... I'm going to just show you this now in advance. Oh, that's a nice spreader, 21 grand. Um, animals, let's have a look. We're going to get this kt10 i think i think that's the one we're gonna go for the kt10 i don't think i've got any other oh i have actually yeah i got the keenan that's a uk style one isn't it twenty two thousand. the problem is it's twenty two thousand eight hundred liters but that's that's a lot when you think about it um double the amount but four times the price but then again, we do have 9,000 litre hay bales. Are we going to have enough hay bales? You know, are we going to have enough room to mix a good mix? That, that's the question. Um, like I say, that's the wrong size bale there, guys. So I'm not really in the... I'm not really worried about uh, one of them ones. That's the bale I wanted to put in the hay to begin uh, in the cows to begin with, but I think we're gonna need to put another hay bale into the cows. Three thousand liters, and we need to get um, we need to get a little bit more. Now this is when I used super strength the other yesterday. You know, I'll put that bale in there like that. It didn't quite go where I wanted it because I, I kind of wanted to tidy him up. I did. I maybe did that. Do you know what I mean? I maybe lined it up with that. But yeah, other than that, guys, this is the episode complete. I I feel like we've done a lot. I know it's been one of them days where we haven't done, like, it doesn't look like we've done loads, but we fertilised five fields. One, two, three, four fields, whatever. I can't count now. Uh, we've lime-said fields. 
we've built a field we've sold the pallet of strawberries that we had over on the uh, at the greenhouse I'm just trying to decide I don't know what to do and I, I wouldn't mind some input on this guys um, do we produce as much tomatoes as possible bear in mind I don't know what the price of tomatoes is to sell we can have a look at that in a minute now we've got the building but my issue is I don't know I don't want to I don't want to put seed and manure in the greenhouse and make you know like a crap ton of money from a production that's a little bit unrealistic I would rather then just produce the tomatoes slowly if that makes sense I hope that makes sense what what I mean by that do you know what I mean um yeah, how much is the tomato, the jars of tomato? I call it tomato sauce, but I know it's not. Yeah, well, it's called tomato sauce. Isn't it? Eight hundred and forty-seven pound each. I've never actually looked at this production. Um, it does two hundred and forty cycles a month, so it'd make. Yeah, so that would use a whole crate in a month. Wow, that's. We can do mixed salad as well. Tomatoes and lettuce. I'm not over bothered about raisins. But if we wanted to, let me know. Um, productions, orchards. How is it under? There you go. Grapes. Yeah, do. I'm trying to decide now if we should put lettuce on. Get some mixed salad, get some tomatoes. It would slow the... It, that, that's the issue. I suppose we could put seed in here and fertiliser in here if we did two things at once. Let's start with tomatoes for now. We can always expand into mix, uh, into the uh, into the veg later on, the, you know, the salads. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I said, 3,000. Got plenty of food, things like that. We don't need to get any water. So they don't take water because they're in a barn. They don't need water, they've got loads, so we've got loads of food, we've got loads of sheep in there, and we've got £32,000 in the bank, guys. So, yeah, I'd, we, we're definitely growing, looking forward to this. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Just going to look at any contracts, if there's anything available. There's just harvesting by the look of it. I'm just going to clear them. Let's just have a, a refresh in case there's like a liming job or a fertilising job come up. Um, I suppose we could do that. Two and a half thousand pound. It would give us something to do in December. Again, we won't have much to do otherwise. But yeah, I'm going to accept that contract. We'll do this one in the next episode. Um, yeah, that's all there is to do. So if we do that, um, we may be lucky getting this uh, tomato production up and running. Because we should have a pallet in December. I will be starting in December, guys. I'm just going to go and fill this uh, this spreader up now. That's all I'm going to do, just because it's right next to me. But, guys, thank you so much for watching the episode. Uh, massively appreciate all the support lately. And until the next one, I'll see you all later on.